Good evening, hello and welcome. You're watching CNN News 18. This is Nation at 5 with me, Poonam Burde. There's lots lined up for you on this edition, but let's get you started with some breaking news that's now coming in. And this is an update coming in from the moon. Remember, India is roving the moon. Our rover Pragyan is on the lunar surface. ISRO is now tweeting out details of what exactly is happening there. And I'm going to take you across to that latest update coming to the fore from ISRO. This is the tweet that has now been put out uh, as far as the Chandrayaan 3 mission goes. Let's show you the images that ISRO has now put out. This is of the lunar surface. There is a path that has been retraced by the Chandrayaan 3 rover, which is Pragyan. And this is what the tweet says. This is what ISRO has now put out. They say that on the 27th of August, which is yesterday, the rover came across a 4-meter diameter crater. It positioned 3 meters ahead of its location. The rover was commanded to retrace the path. It is now safely heading on to a new path. So a little hurdle, so to say, as far as the lunar surface goes. And these are the images of uh, that path that was first taken by Pragyan, the rover, eventually retraced back and now... These are the tracks that were left behind by Pragyan, the rover. They now, we're back on track, we're back on the treading waters uh, on the lunar surface, getting in information, feeding it back to Earth here at the ISRO Command Center. Ritu, my colleague, joining us, getting us more on this. Ritu, all's well, all's on track, a little hurdle, so to say, there as far as uh, Pragyan's uh, movement on the lunar surface is concerned, but we're back on track now. Uh, yes, so you see now the ISRO uh, through on on the uh, on the X platform, in fact, has said that this happened on August 27th. So the rover came across so, a four meter diameter crater, uh, positioned three meters ahead of its location. But yes, it was successfully uh, retraced. It retraced its path, and now it is uh, also safely heading on a new path. But we do know that there are so many craters on the moon, so it is going to be uh, slightly challenging for the rover actually. But moreover, you see the confidence of for uh, the Indian space research organization as well that how things are this time being designed and the confidence as well of the ISRO that doesn't matter how many hurdles will come on the way this time the rover will be able to successfully uh, collect all those elements and provide that crucial uh, in data the information back to the uh, command center here for them to study and then later point keep it available for the uh, world and this is the important step of the ISRO however but yes we know that you know it's really not easy for the uh, ISRO also to actually look into it because they would have studied it a lot before even taking up this Chandrayaan-3 uh, mission. They ensured this time that there shouldn't be any type of a flaws because one, of course, the import, uh, the, in fact, the challenges to be said. Uh, so the one, of course, was that the soft landing, but now after successfully uh, achieving that uh, the soft landing on the south pole of the moon, though we do know that it's called as the dark side of the moon, doesn't matter how many challenges will come on the way, this time the rover has been trained well uh, to actually uh, face them and also safely get back to its path. Absolutely. It's uh, less than one week uh, for the lander and the rover. Remember, the shelf life is uh, two weeks. It's 14 days, which is one lunar day as far as both Vikram and Pragyan and their life on uh, the moon is concerned. There's a lot more that needs to be delved into. We are getting uh, updates, Ritu, coming in from ISRO, like this one that just came to the fore, talking about uh, the lunar topsoil around the pole and the temperature profile and what we're really understanding from it. This is what Vikram lander, the payloads that were on Vikram lander, this is the data that has been fed through that payload back here to the command center. And uh, it goes on to talk about how uh, there is a controlled penetration mechanism that is capable of reaching a depth of 10 centimeters beneath the surface. And the probe is fitted with 10 individual temperature sensors. There is a graph that has been put forth by ISRO as well going on to talk about the temperature on the lunar surface. What exactly it is right on top and how much it is 10 centimeters below. These are the updates that periodically are coming to the fore from uh, uh, from uh, the ISRO command center as well, uh, Ritu and ISRO, they're really now looking to study what is coming day to day. Once that 14 day shelf life of both Vikram and Pragyan is over, that's when the real experimenting analysis will begin, so to say. Yes, very true. So the rover which actually landed on the moon, uh, the, uh, the in fact rolled out on the moon's uh, surface on the August 23rd, you see, has now uh, important that it has been managed to tra uh, uh, traverse the lunar crater, which was in fact a depth. If we try and understand the depth of it, that what we are also given to understand, it is of almost 100 mm. So this is again an uh, achievement that one can see of the rover, but that is how it is designed this time. And also the uh, ISRO being very confident of in the coming days as well, how the ISRO will be able to achieve uh, uh, 
uh, in fact will be able to do all its activities the significant uh, uh, analysis that it is supposed to the significant information that is supposed to collect as well on the uh, surface but again you know in the coming days we will see more and more such interesting uh, tweets from the uh, isro and also how that the command room will uh, also be able to uh, uh, give us more uh, interesting data of what exactly is taking place because as you mentioned rightly about the soil or for that matter about the temperature how it changes you know every uh, uh, some uh, of after few uh, uh, m uh, few meters in fact so that is again very important for the uh, isro to study as well so that's the significant study that uh, the isro is uh, doing with the chandrayaan 3 uh, right now right ritu thank you so much for getting us the latest on that a report card coming to the fore from isro on an everyday basis getting us more details of what lies uh, under the lunar surface now as we are looking into uh, the soil the element co elemental composition and of course the temperature for the moment though ritu thank you so much we are shifting focus now to more breaking news that's coming in